Good morning and thank you for tuning in to another Pineapple Bites video training session. In this video training session, we will review the changes from the old Aloha Manager to the new Aloha Manager and give a quick overview of the new functions that are available in new Aloha Manager. First thing you'll notice that is different is the desktop icon from the old Aloha Manager to the new Aloha Manager has changed. It's now a square orange icon with AM in it for Aloha Manager. We're going to open this up here and use your login and password. This should be the same as your old Aloha Manager password. You may be required to enter in a new password. Security has increased in the newer versions of Aloha, so you will have to follow a little bit more guidelines when creating a new password, as well as the passwords rotate every 90 days, so you will be prompted every 90 days when logging into Aloha Manager to give yourself a new password. Once we're logged in here, the first thing you're going to notice is on the left hand side, usually on the old Aloha, you had buttons down there for shortcuts if you had them. They've changed that now, so you have favorites and you have an open task button. The open task button, if we click on that, it's going to display any windows that we have open in Aloha Manager. So as we go in and we start opening up windows, we'll open up item maintenance. And then we'll open up sub menus. In the old Aloha Manager, it used to kind of keep a running tab, um, tabs down here at the bottom of any window that you had open, and you would click these tabs to switch between them. They've now moved that to open tasks. So in your open task button down here, you can any I, any window that you have open, you can click on this and you can switch between those screens easily. You also have a favorites button, which allows you to create shortcuts to commonly used functions in Aloha Manager. To edit the favorites, you can simply right click anywhere in this white area and click customize. It's going to bring up available functions. So you just increase these and then decide which ones you want to move over. So if we're going to add submenu maintenance, for instance, we'll click here and we'll just click and drag that over to your favorites. You can also organize these by clicking and dragging them, moving them up or down and hitting OK. And you can now see that this is added to my favorites here. So we have submenus there now. So that's the, the first difference between old Aloha Manager and new Aloha Manager. Something else that has changed is the item search field. So if we go under our item maintenance now, we now have a search field up here in the top right hand corner. So if we start typing in something that we're looking for, let's say nachos, for instance, and we hit enter, it's now going to search the database and look for any item in your database that has the word that you've typed up here in its name. So if we hit the drop down here, we're now going to see a list of every single item in our database that has the word nacho in it. This is really great because it allows you to be able to quickly find items in your database without needing to memorize item numbers or scroll through long lists of items to try to find one that you're particularly looking for. To close out of this search field, you just hit the X here. That gets rid of whatever you've typed in for the search. And you hit your drop down and it's going to display your full list of items there again. You also have two different views you can do now for items. You have your normal view, which is what you're most familiar with. They've added in a grid view now. So if we click this button here that says grid view, it's going to change it to more of like a column based Excel spreadsheet type view. So this is good for if people are doing item level pricing, you can click on your pricing tab here you'll have a list of all of your items. You can make, you can extend these fields just by kind of clicking and dragging so you can see the full name there. So if we went over and we find, let's say, default price, we can click and drag this all the way over so it's closer to the actual item name. And then if we were doing price changes, we could simply just go down this list very quickly just by typing in the number, hitting enter, typing in another number, hitting enter, and you can do price changes very quickly. So let's say we go ahead and we, you know, type in 750 and we just go ahead and hit save. And that's going to actually, that's a very quick way of doing item pricing changes. To switch back to normal view, 
simply click on that button again it switches it back to the normal view that you're familiar with real-time updates is something that also got introduced with new Aloha manager and newer versions of Aloha that were released real-time updates allow you to be able to change specific things in your database and be able to push those directly to the front of host terminals the workstations without actually having to do a full system refresh or wait until end of day certain things that this is available on is items item level pricing item costs item routing as well as employees so for instance if we go in like you just saw with pricing if i was to go in and change the price on this poutine item to eight dollars and i hit save the system's now got a prompt for a real-time update if i hit yes the system creates a file that the terminals will automatically update on their own without user intervention and without seeing the terminals actually shut down and restart again. So this is very good to be able to get quick action items out to the terminals without actually having to take down the point of sale system. It's the same for employees. If you went in and created a new employee and you hit save, real-time updates work for new employees. So if you went in and created one, do a real-time update, the employee can immediately walk out to the front of host workstation and they'll be able to log in using their employee number. The next thing that's changed a little bit is creating buttons on submenu panels. So we will go into our submenu maintenance here. At the top, you're going to have a list of your submenus that are available. So if you hit this drop down, here's all the different submenus that have been programmed into your database. To view the buttons on each individual submenu, you simply click on the layout tab. It's going to show you each button that has been created on the submenu. Similar to all the Aloha Manager, to move items around is the same. You just click and drag where you want to move items to. Also, to remove an item, you just right click anywhere so you can either cut it or delete it. As well as when you cut an item, you can go to your second page, right click on an empty area and paste it. That will allow you to move an item from the first page to the second page. In the previous versions of Aloha Manager, you would have to double click on one of these empty squares to be able to add in a new item. Now what you can simply do is just highlight one of these squares that is not being used. Search for your item here. What's great here now is the search feature is also available in this. So you don't have to memorize the item number that you've created to add to a submenu. You can simply start typing it in. It's automatically going to pull the database and look for anything that you've typed in there. So I can just pick my item. I can pick whether or not I'm doing an item price. If I'm doing an item price, the system automatically looks at the price that you've associated to the actual item in item maintenance under the price tab. If you're doing button level pricing, you would have to switch this to button price and then you'd manually put in your button price here and then you can go ahead and hit save. Now one thing to note is button level pricing is not included in real-time updates so if you do change prices on an actual button you cannot do a real-time update the system will not prompt you for a real-time update however if you are changing the price of an item on the actual item itself under the item maintenance pricing tab you will get prompted to do a real-time update so that's new as well with creating buttons on submenu panels another thing that's been added is a really good help feature now if you're anywhere in Aloha Manager and you're in a certain field and you're not quite sure what that field means or if you know what you should be putting in there or what the function of that field is, just anywhere in that field, you just hit F1 on your keyboard. It's automatically got to load up the manual for new Aloha Manager. And at the top, you're going to see the field that you have highlighted and it's going to give you a description of exactly what that field means. So it's very good if, if, if you're new to new Aloha Manager, you're not quite sure what fields you need to fill out or what a certain field does, you can always hit F1 to bring up the help feature on, on the uh, Aloha Manager. One thing that's moved its spot is item routing. Item routing is where items print to when they're ordered from the point of sale. In the past, it used to be on the actual item itself under item maintenance. Now it has moved to maintenance, menu, item routing. And when you're in item routing here, on the included here, you're going to see every single item that's in your database that has been assigned a printer group to print to. On the left-hand side, you'll see any items that haven't been assigned to print somewheres. 
it's always good practice to ha make sure that this field over here is empty as you typically will always want to have your items assigned to a printer group whether they're not actually printing somewheres or not you can always assign the no print group to them you'll notice that if this you'll get field items will pop up over here if you're creating a new item that hasn't already been created in the database it will actually stay over here until you actually go in so it's, it's good practice too if you're ever adding in a brand new item to always go into item routing and then check the item routing on it to make sure it's included over here and that the proper printer group is associated to it so if you're looking to change where a particular item is printing you would just look to where that particular item is highlight the printer group hit your down arrow here it's going to give you an option of all the different printer groups that are set up you can pick your new printer group you go ahead and hit save and real-time updates work for item routing as well so you can hit yes and that would automatically take effect in the point of sale what's also a good feature here too as well is if you're looking to change multiple items to print to a different print group you can simply click on your first item hold shift on your keyboard and select your last item and then go ahead and just change the printer group of the first item you don't have to be holding shift anymore you can let go of shift after you pick your last item we go ahead and we hit let's say cash it's automatically going to take any item that we had highlighted. It's going to switch all of them to cash. So it's a quick way to be able to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and switch these all back to food. Save that. We'll do a real-time update. So that's uh, item routing has changed as well. Item costs has moved as well. They've it's it's been made a lot easier now in the past the item cost would get done on the actual actual individual item level itself under item maintenance now item costs has moved similar to item routing it's found under maintenance menu item costs and here you're going to have a list of all the items that have been included in item costs over on the right similar to the item routing and you have your item costs listed here on the right. So it's like an Excel spreadsheet type feel where you can simply go in and start typing in all of your item costs very quickly instead of having to go through each individual item window by itself. So if I went ahead and changed the cost of muscles, let's say for this, this instance of 450, go ahead and hit save. Real-time updates also works for item costs, so that will push that through directly right away. So that's it for the overview of new Aloha Manager and things that have changed from the old Aloha Manager to new. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to our support line. And have a great day, and thank you for tuning in.